10 or 15 minutes ago, I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace. I came across an estate sale that has a bunch of glassware. He also has about five boxes or so that looked like they were filled with comic books. So I shot him a message, got his address. 20 minutes after he posted it, it's on a Sunday in the middle of the afternoon, so I'm hoping that nobody else has gone there to check anything out. Uh, but I messaged him and I told him I'd be interested in possibly making a bulk purchase on the entire lot of everything. He seemed open to the idea of it. He sounds like he's looking to get rid of a lot of stuff. I have a good friend of mine, Kelsey Beach, that recently opened up her own little uh, vintage online thrifting shop called In The Valley Thrifting? Sorry, Kelsey. So I was gonna do some shopping for her possibly too and see if I can get a good bundle deal on a bunch of stuff. I don't know anything really about comic books. I really gotta make sure that if I am gonna purchase everything that I'm getting a good price. He had them priced at only a dollar per comic, so I feel like that's a pretty safe entry point to kind of start negotiating on individual prices versus bulk pricing. But we'll see how it goes. I've got my fancy new recorder here. I'm gonna show you guys literally everything that I see. So here we go. <laughs> Good, how are you? I'm sorry. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, all right. Right on. Oh, so you, uh, you're putting a real estate signs, huh? What's that? Oh, no. So I actually, I own an estate sale business and my wife and I are also both licensed real estate brokers as well. You work in this area then? Bonnie Lake, Gullah, We Auburn? We work all over the place. We live in Lakewood. My wife has owned several brokerages. Really? Most recently she was a designated broker of Nexus, which is her, their office is up in Bellevue. But we recently joined EXP, which is a virtual based brokerage, a national brokerage. You're selling real estate. Yeah, yeah, we sell real estate. And then I, I, uh, I started my business doing estate sales uh, Oh man. June of 2020, my company is Epic Estate Sales and Cleanouts. Oh. So when COVID shut everything down, I was doing cleanouts, but what I was doing was like a a discounted cleanout service basically for allowing us to have a garage sale. These are interesting steins. Everything in here? Is this your no. record setup, dude? Just, just the glassware. Okay. That's pretty cool record setup that you got going. Yeah, I, I like it. I got this one because I got a whole pile of 78s from my dad, and that one actually plays 78. I sold some of them on eBay, but they're not worth much. Yeah, like really rare blues. You have some real rare ones. Yeah. Jazz and blues. They could be worth it. Huge bucks. Yeah. Right. You gotta have the right ones. Right. You gotta like comic books. <laughs> you gotta have the right ones. Yeah. So what are these comic books? Do you... Oh, my kids and friends. Gotcha. Looks like there's quite a few. There's quite a few. <laughs> Some of them are still sleeved up, it looks like. Yep. Are these kind of like themes that organized well, at all? Well, they're kind or? of in alphabetical order. Uh, kind of. Gotcha. They look like they're in really good condition. Most of them are. So when did your kids start collecting comics? Lots 90s. <laughs> From the 90s. Yeah. Dang. And friends. I have friends. What are your kids doing now? They're not. They don't they're want their comic up. book collection. They're all growing up. Oh, they're just in horror movies now and, ga and gaming. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if you're interested in anything, but. Well, so I am. I would be interested in in you know buying all the comic books from you if you'd be interested in selling all of them, get them all. Um, yeah, I was like thinking a hundred bucks a box, so I don't know if you, that's too high for you. Probably. How many are in each box? About like 300. In each what, one? 200 or 300? That's about 30 cents a piece. Um, would you take 500 and have grabbed those two green vases too? 
<laughs> you like those green vases? Yeah. I knew those wouldn't last. They're pretty cool. <laughs> I was going to try to clean them up. They're, they're neat. Those are cool. But yeah, 500 bucks cash, and I'll get all of these comic books off your plate. I just oh, don't yeah, have, I, I literally, because it's Sunday, I went to the bank. Gotcha. <laughs> they capped me, so. Um... Yeah, um, my car's kind of a mess, so I'll 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 load them up. Right. Don't. <laughs> okay, cool. A few moments later. All right, so we just got back home and got all these comic books unloaded. I said there's about 2,000 of these comic books here. We obviously have a lot of work to go through and I literally don't know like anything when it comes to comic books. These are all from, I guess, from the mid 80s to the 90s. Uh, this was his kids collection. Some interesting stuff in here, so it's definitely gonna be an exciting time. I hope you guys enjoy going through all this stuff. Let me know in the comments. If you see anything that's rare or valuable that I need to set aside and throw up on eBay or list individually, um, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 